This is the greatest toy. It's a flamethrower. You hook it up to a propane tank. It's called Dragon Breath or something like that. It's awesome. Got a call from the water company today, actually a letter from them, saying they needed to install a new water meter in my house. And they needed the area cleared out. Of course, that means it's directly behind where all my props are being built. First, got to put away some props. So it's a little tight quarters in my shed here. Because when I got all that stuff from Spirit Halloween, while well, a lot went underneath my porch, a lot came in the shed. And these are just my regular Halloween storage up here and so I need to clean a space out up here so that the parishioner props can fit up there there's actually a lot of room up here which is good news so it's really going to come down to just straighten it out and it's actually just really going to come down to me moving those boxes out of the way because that's all open now Sharon away. And Ghostface, that's going to be useful coming up. Before we get to the surprise of the night, I got a little project I got to do. Quick one. I'm going to make a dispenser, a plastic bag dispenser. I'm going to drill a hole through here and then a, a hole in the lid fill up the bag and I'll just be able to pull out the bags from in there and I'll keep them all corralled in here. I guess I'm just making them at 6, 12, and 9 and then probably somewhere in between. So here all I'm doing is just cutting off the edges just so I can round them down so they don't stab me. Should be a self-feeding uh, thing. is a success. Wish my props were as simple as this. Can we get the Halloween please? Ghostface. It actually is the next scene of my haunt. My thought for the haunt was to have a lot of props with the same mask on. I got like a dozen of these things. I do plan on having a few actors in my haunt so they're going to be wearing these masks but some of the props are going to be wearing the mask too. And the idea is that the person, the people coming through the haunt, won't know who's a, an actor and who's a prop. I'm going to have three props, three static props, standing with these. And there's going to be an actor standing amongst them who, as the people walk by, will then jump out at them and give them a startle scare. So that's what these are for. And i got to uh, come up with... Uh, as I said, a simple uh, body form, simple PVC frame that holds up a robe. That's what's going to happen uh, with that, and that's what those are for. So let's get to the surprise. My buddy Jason came through. It's the uh, arch window template. So haven't opened it up yet. Came today in the mail, and I saved it to share it with you. <laughs> I'm sure I'm going to be bewildered when I look at it and say, I'm supposed to do what with this shit? Oh, okay. 
That's simple enough. This is so special, I'm even putting a tablecloth out on top. That was a nice full size one and then okay what we got here are smaller ones so I can do it in pieces and then can match them up this is awesome so I'm gonna get some foam pick up some foam tomorrow and this is beautiful this is absolutely what I wanted perfect and now I just have to figure out how to execute it. Not much prop building today. Not any prop building today. But we got a plastic bag dispenser. And we got some awesome plans. If you like what you see, give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I'm posting videos every day and you'll be notified right away when the next video comes out. They usually come out around 7 o'clock in the morning, give or take. But let me know in the comments section below how you think I might go about building those choir boy bodies. Like I said, my thought was just simple PVC frames that will end up hanging robes over. That's where I'm going. But if you got a better idea on how I might do this, let me know. Give me your ideas. I would like to hear what you have to think. Okay, thanks for watching. And let me know in the comments section below 